Good evening, beautiful friends. Um, the daily scoreboard, it will be a quick one today, I can assure you. I haven't done any Twitter today with regard to, you know, saving charts that I find interesting that I want to show to you. I'm sorry for that. So that part will have one. So we will check that one out. As always, guys, follow me here, use link, uh, both YouTube and Twitter. And I will say that I'm moving at some point here when I'm ready, I will be moving the paid members you know section from youtube that i have right now over to the sub stack for different reasons um but mainly i know a lot of people who are using sub stack for these kind of, of things to upload stuff and they, it should be very easy to compare to having to upload it on youtube then share it on the private twitter and the charts on private twitter and going back and forth so that is the main reason why really uh, it will come i will you know that let people know when the transitioning period will be. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now we need to know what potentially, what what data tomorrow could move the market a bit. There's nothing, there's nothing, uh, not much going on tomorrow. We have some, we have some where uh, is it? We have the housing permits. Uh, where was it? I can't remember. But that's in Canada. I, I thought it was US. So it's not as big, uh, but we have housing, housing starts in Canada. Basically, it doesn't mean anything, in my view, at least. We have some export prices, import prices in the U.S. Again, a minor event, nothing, nothing big. Uh, also, we have a lot of, we actually have a lot of China going on here. Housing prices, uh, M2 money stock, M2 money stock. I don't know how much you can rely on those data, but uh, again, it is here. And then we have some industrial productions in the U.S., which is, again, depending on where it gets, that could de definitely make the dollar move quite a bit. Uh, and then we have all the COTs from, you know, gold, silver, crude oil, all that good stuff, almost before the close tomorrow, Friday. So no big, big numbers like we had today with the PPI, for example. Um, I think we had the PPI. Uh, and what else did we have? We had claims. Uh, these are big, you know, big, big data triggering um, each week, more or less. So, yeah, good the daily scoreboard, guys. The beautiful daily scoreboard. Not a whole lot, and yet there is there is some. I want to switch to my other my other view. I just did a video, by the way, on a where I'm looking at you know one trend line that's very important to me on different charts. You can check it out within like half an hour. So silver down today, roughly one percent. No biggie, no biggie. Uh, the Dixie is up 0.5%. So therefore, it's it's not impossible, but it's difficult to silver to really, you know, do massively green gains. But again, the Dixie up a half a percent and silver only down 0.8. That's a win for silver. That's a big, big win. Uh, usually, if that happens, silver could be easily down 3 4% easy. So again, a bit of a paradigm shift here in my view. Um, and you know my take on silver. We are, you know, between 25 and 26, 26 being the big number. Oof, that's going to be fantastic. We have gold here, 0.5% down. Again, doing well. Basically, one-to-one -one inverted right now to the Dixie. Nothing major to report. The US, uh, excuse me, gold to the ratio, tiny bounce here today. Again, we had a big drop yesterday. That's very nice to see. Um, but again, we're still above massive support so still bullish you know my take we need to crack down there then we are bearish on the ratio bullish heavily bullish gold and silver meaning we are in a precious metals 100 percent confirmed bull market when that happens dixie as mentioned here up a half a percent coming back into that apex there i don't know exactly what to make of that but uh, let's see how how much it can really you know gain uh, over the next few days, next week, if that is really a trend change here, that would be kind of nasty. But let's see. Bitcoin here dropping 3%. Intraday, I think it was down even more. I think it was down roughly 6 7%. Basically, you know, losing that short-term one-hourly rising wedge here. Finding support where it, it needed to, basically, at roughly 69. So again, a bit of a downer day for... For Bitcoin, but that rising wedge, if it doesn't start to recover again and we start to trade below, then we can actually see a, a, a quite a substantial move down in, in, in Bitcoin. Again, still a bit early to call it, 
right now we still have support there, 69,000, that pivot high there. Uh, getting below 69 initially, bad. Again, if you get below the next one there at roughly 65, potentially very, very bad for Bitcoin. Let's see, Bitcoin still overall strongish long-term. It's uh, mid-term, let's say. Uh, oil, again, confirming here, that there's a lot of crap going on here. I want to remove all that. Basically confirming the breakout now, in my view. Yesterday, we peaked above the neckline at roughly 79. And today, boom, we have broken the predefined bull flag. And now we are actually quite bullish. The big level to get through is 82, as mentioned many, many times. But this you know, should trigger or has triggered a move to 92. 92 USD uh, with some potential overshooting. But again, oil here, energies looks looks really good. The GDX down 1.3%. Um, again, it, it's not good, right? But again, it's not, you know, a total devastation. We have come up quite, quite far. So we have come up, you know, 20%. Now we're down to 18. Yeah, I'm not worried. Um, still, the sill, the sill miners. Again, potentially a neckline here with that left shoulder head and then we could basically see you know dropping you know roughly five percent and then hopefully we, if it confirms we are out of here breaking that golden lines these golden lines there tiny tiny bounce here in the uranium spot price 0 0.7 percent up again it dropped i think eight percent yesterday from like roughly 90 down to 84 ish 83 um again it was only uh, 100,000 uh, pounds sold, so it was one order basically, so very low volume. And opposed to this, again, it's not ideal to have these drops, but again, for the past six years, that has basically been the norm. Uh, these, uh, you know, these 20, 30 percent drops in the spot price. So uh, I'm not worried yet. Uh, um, I'm not worried yet. A tiny bounce here, 0 0.5 percent in the URNM, basically bouncing in the short term. Here we have a blue uptrend channel there basically bouncing exactly where it needed to uh, and the the good thing that i saw just before i went live is actually we came back above that low there that's actually some short short very short term victory again nothing confirmed but still kind of iffy but again hammer a candle here on the urnm so far it's fine now we see we have that tiny triangle that's what we're looking at rates are up, I think, 2 or 3% today. It has shifted, so I need to see here. Yeah, 3%. So big move again. We bounced up from that $4.1% uh, uh, level. And now, again, we are targeting 4.33. Again, will it break this time around? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we have the third weekly here as resistance right now. So, so let's see. Basically, a flat day for Palladium. Uh, kind of an intraday reversal with that, you know, the PPI and claims number, we retreated a bit here from the top. So we have a short-term spinning top here. But overall, this move there with the breakout retest looks incredibly strong here still. But again, a tiny warning there on the daily candle there with that spinning top. Uh, getting back above there is ideal. Let's see. We still have the third weekly coming down. So there's still some weekly, you know, pressure to the downtrend from that moving average. But again, if we can just, uh, let's say, if we can just break up here and just, just stay here for like, you know, like a month or two, that should have that 30 weekly coming to to turn around. It takes a long time and then it pushes up and we're in a stage two, maybe with a huge, you know, retest into the to the, to the stage two confirmation and then we go higher. Uh, but again, this is for now really, really good price action for Palladium. It's not out of the woods yet, though. We need to see, you know, into the summer. Platinum here, I have a lot of doodles going on there. Platinum down down one and a half percent. No major news. It is what it is. Copper, again, still after yesterday's massive, massive breakout. This is a big one. If if this is true, this is a big one for copper. And we're having a tiny down day today with a lot of volatility again with the PPI and the claims. That's always, you know, moving the the dollar up in this case and rates up, usually that pulls down, you know, commodities overall. So, so yeah. So, yeah. And I promised you, I promised you a, there it is, retweets for YouTube. One shot. 
JC Paris here. Let's see what he has to say. Looking at the actual data helps serve as a good reminder that this is not 2023, it's actually very different. So you can see here three ratios, energy versus the SP 500. You can see here still, you know, higher highs and higher lows climbing higher in favor of energy. Nice. Oil services, you know, versus the SP 500, OIH against buy. Also here climbing higher, potentially, you know, we are, you know, putting in some sort of bottom here. Uh, it still might need a bit more time, but definitely it's flattening out there. So the momentum is com coming in favor again of the OIH. XOP against buy, same thing here again. We are climbing higher, taking out these lows right here at roughly zero point. If I, if I can see straight here, zero point two eight roughly across there, you can see we're actually making that bottom there um, complete in my view. So energies looks really good. Again, gold, excuse me, oil is breaking out above that that neckline. So again, oil here looks like it wants to, to move into the 90s. That's it. Tomorrow we have one more day left. I will do the weekly closes on, uh, on what we're looking at. Uh, uranium, gold and silver, all that good stuff. The weekly close, we will definitely see what what the week has to, to offer here at the end. That's it, guys. As always, like, subscribe. Highly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video. And uh, check out that one-liner, sometimes two-liner video that I just did and I will release now.